Tonight we meet the ME patient whose campaigning could help thousands of others. Despite suffering from chronic fatigue, Jan Laverick and her friends have been lobbying MPs calling for more research and awareness. This afternoon there's been a special debate at Westminster and it comes just days after the Medical Research Council announced it's spending one and a half million pounds on research. Claire Montgomery reports. Very upset but it's frustration. Jan Laverick's symptoms are so bad she spent most of the last few years in her bedroom. She invited us in to help raise awareness about ME. Jan from Redcar had been an active teenager, keen on the outdoors, but her life changed 12 years ago. I started my gold trip for Edinburgh and I was windsurfing down Scaling Dam and I picked up a viral infection that persisted for several months and then I just never recovered. Eventually she was diagnosed with ME or chronic fatigue syndrome, an illness said to affect a quarter of a million people across the country. It just feels like having a bad cold or the flu all the time, um, mixed in with sort of dementia type symptoms. I can't remember stuff, um, can't think straight, and then there's a neurological twitching, and there's a lot of pain, nerve pain, and muscle pain as well. So frustrated by what they see as a lack of medical research into the condition and support for those with it, Jan and her friends have been lobbying their local MPs to campaign for action. Late this yes, afternoon, her own the MP, the Lib Dems in Swales, led a special uh, debate. I was delighted to see that two days, and I'm sure it's just a coincidence, that two days after this debate was announced, indeed, the Medical Research Council did announce one and a half million for further research into ME. I believe this is an important step showing that leading medical researchers and the government are finally admitting that the current thinking on ME is inadequate. A charity which supports people with ME says it's a start. We want investment, we want medical research into the biomedical cause of ME. People want to know why they're ill, they want to know what's caused it and hopefully that will lead to a cure so people can actually recover from this very debilitating illness. And I want you know, the next generation to have it a lot easier than we've had it and to be taken seriously and not just left. And, you know, with no support and no treatment. For now, Jan accepts she has to convalesce at home, but she's hoping that one day she may again be well enough to take her loyal companion for a walk. Claire Montgomery reporting. Yeah, we hope so too. Very brave to let the cameras in, Jan, when you feel so poorly. Absolutely. Let's take a look at some of the stories that are going to be making the headlines in the ITV news at 6.30.